Okay, now that we've fixed the edges and we've turned them the way we want them, the yellows on the yellows and the oranges on the oranges, uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to build an L on this yellow face. For an example, it's going to look exactly like this. Cover up that middle piece, you can see this L. You can notice that uh, the portion that we've built in the first couple of videos is still there, it's still intact, uh, and we're going to grab the cube the same way that we have been grabbing it through this entire tutorial. The first thing that we want to do is we want to take the red and yellow edge, which belongs right here, and we want to put it there. So we're Simply, if you've been following along with the video and your edge pieces are, you've got your crosses on top when you check them, it's just going to be a matter of turning this top face and putting that yellow red piece into position. The next thing we want to do is we want to put the yellow, green, and red corner piece in. See, we're starting to build the cell, so we're going to build this part, this uh, edge here, and then we're going to build this corner. If it's not here, uh, not where it's supposed to be, you're going to look around and find it. It just so happens that that green, red, and yellow piece is where it's supposed to be, but it's not turned properly so that the yellow's on top. Now to fix uh, any pieces like this and to build this L, it's going to be nothing more than moving the pieces around using these two faces. There's no special uh, algorithms or anything like that. It's just going to be a matter of you playing with the cube and learning how to flip these pieces around. It'll take you a few times, but once you get it down, uh, you'll always remember it because it's a matter of just manipulating the cube versus remembering uh, a special algorithm. So here's my piece here. I know it's not turned properly, so I'm going to turn it over into this face. And remember, this is two faces that we want to turn without breaking any of this. You just hold on to it, and that's how we're going to rearrange these pieces. So I'm going to turn this corner piece over here and then I'm going to turn it this way and that puts my yellow on top. Now that the yellow's on top it's not next to here not next to the red yellow piece the way we want it. So I'm going to turn it back this way notice that moves my edge piece out of the way I'm going to turn that piece out of the top face. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can bring this red yellow piece back over here and then I'm simply going to turn that corner piece back up and that matches them up. So I'm going to reorientate my cube to the colors and I'll look a little bit and sure enough I've got this done and so I've got half the L done at this point. The next piece I want to put in is I want to put in this other corner piece up here, the blue, red, and yellow corner piece. Again I'm gonna look at these two faces so I can find that piece and here it is right here. Now just to start off I'm gonna move it up into the top face just to see where I'm at. Well I got a problem again that it's not turn the proper way as far as having the yellow color on top. Now without breaking these two I want to manipulate these two faces to try and flip that piece to get the yellow on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over here and then I'm going to turn my top. Notice I'm not breaking this. I'm going to turn my top this way so I can flip it again and I'm going to turn it back to where I just had it. When I do that and I reorientate my cube, I notice that it flipped right into the proper position. So now I've built this column right here and it, all the colors are lined up. You might have to work with it a little bit and flip the pieces around a, a few times and you know by not breaking this and get them around the cube a little bit so you can understand uh, what moves it takes to put pieces where you want them and to turn them the right way. But again, there's no uh, long lengthy, lengthy algorithms to do this. It's just a matter of messing with the cube and these two faces. The next piece that I want to put in is to complete this L obviously is this yellow and this green edge right here. So I'm going to look around the cube and it just so happens that it's right here. Now this is a, a little bit more I don't say complicated but a little more in depth. I'm just going to take this red yellow piece and I'm going to move it up to the top face without moving this out anywhere. Now what I'm going to do is I want this green and yellow piece here. Well, the real easy way to do that without messing up this column, we don't want to mess up this column, is I'm, now I'm going to turn the top of the cube. I'm going to take this column and I'm going to put it into this other face so that I can turn it without messing it up. 
So I'm going to move it to the bottom. Basically what I'm doing is I'm storing it in this bottom portion right here. That way I can take this top face with the yellow and green piece and I can move it anywhere I want to and put that yellow green piece any position I want it to be. Well, the position I want that yellow green piece to be is up here. The reason is, is when I flip this column back up, it matches up in color. And then when I reorientate my cube to the colors and put it back into position, I've completed my L. Like I said, there's no crazy moves, um, no crazy algorithms. It's just going to be a matter of you practicing with the cube, practicing with these two faces to build this L. Once you do it enough times, you're going to be very proficient at doing it. It's not going to be as confusing. Um, again, you're not going to be able to follow exactly with me on this portion simply because your cubies are going to be in, in different positions because our scrambles are, are different. So by the time we get here, it's just a, the principle of building this L and not following a, along with me exactly move for move. So with that, uh, we're finished with this portion. Uh, we're almost done with the first two layers of the cube and we will solve the next portion in the next video.